Hi everyone, my name is Kristen Hayes. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and today we're going to be making this really quick and easy birthday card. So let's get started. So we're gonna start with a piece of gorgeous grape and I cut this at eight and a half by five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. Then I have a piece of the hand penned DSP and this is cut at five and a quarter by four. And I'll just show you the papers really quickly. These are really pretty. They're floral on one side and then you've got like a solid color with a pattern on the other side. So there you go. These are really nice. I've used this quite a bit. They're all mixed up in here, but you can get the idea of what they look like. There we go, and I think that's it, right? Oh, there's the last one. So that's really pretty. Um, I don't even think I got the stamp set that this, that this is supposed to coordinate with, but I've used it quite a bit. So anyways, the stamp set we're going to use today is Sharing Sunshine. And at the end, I'll show you some cards I made making the actual sunshine. But today we're gonna to be using the shapes in here. So to get started, I'm going to take this, I don't even know what kind of shape to call it, but we're going to start with um, Polished Pink, which is one of the new ink colors. And we're just going to randomly stamp some of these images around on our paper. And I just re-inked the Polished Pink, so i got to be careful not to press too hard or I'm going to get some of that you can see it um here you can clean that off every time but i'm just going to try and be careful my famous last words okay let's see we'll put just a tab right here and maybe just sneak it in on the edges a little tiny bit all right i think that's good so then we're going to come in with one of the other little shapes We'll use this little swirly shape right here, and we're going to be using Gorgeous Grape. And I'm just, again, going to randomly stamp this on, and I'm going to try and turn it just so they're not all going the same way. Sometimes I forget, and then I they all look like they're going one way, which is fine, too. Actually, it looks like I should probably re-ink my gorgeous scrape, but we'll keep going with it for this project. Let's see, we'll do, eh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I'll do. All right, we'll put that one aside. And now we have these little dots. We've got three dots together, and we're going to do Pacific Point. You can see there, I left them overnight with the ink, so... I have a bad habit of doing that, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt the stamp at all. And again, we're just going to, let me just stick it on my fingernail. Um, we're just going to come in and randomly stamp this. Again, turning it a little bit here and there so it doesn't all look the same. Put that in there. And then maybe one over here. I guess that's good. That's good. I don't need a ton of them. Just a little detailing for the back. Now we're going to stamp our sentiment. And we're going to use Sunny Sentiments. And these are great. Sometimes I want something more than just a little happy birthday or something that takes up a little more space on a project. And this really does a good job of that. So we're going to do Hoping Your Birthday is Filled with All the Best Things. And I've got just some um, pale papaya. And we're going to stamp in the Pacific Point again. And I just re-inked this one as well. So I had it smear on me. You can see it on my hand. So I am going to use the heat tool just to make sure all the ink is dried before I handle it. You 
obviously don't normally need to heat set your um, stamp st ink, the classic ink, but um, because I just re-inked it, it wasn't soaking in quite fast enough um, to the cardstock, so I didn't want to smear it again. So I'm going to take my circle punch, my two inch circle punch, and I know that the circle punches are discontinued in the annual catalog, but you can easily use your layering circle dies if you want to bring out your big shot if you don't have the punches. But I am i don't think I'll ever give these up because I just use them all the time. Um, so we're just going to center that in here, give it a punch. And then we're going to take the two and a quarter inch circle punch. I've got some scrap uh, Pacific point right here. There we go. And then we'll just adhere these two together. You can see I had something on the back of that, but it doesn't show. Sometimes if you make a mistake or something that doesn't come out the way you want it to, flip it over and then you'll be all set and not waste paper. All right, so then we're going to come in with some of this um, open weave ribbon. This is in polished pink and this comes in all of the new ink colors. It's really very pretty. Um, so we're gonna wrap it around here. So I'm just gonna take a little of my adhesive and put it on the back. And then start here, just push it in and wrap it around twice. You could, to save on ribbon, cut it and go around, you know, cut it here and here and just do it twice, but I just like the effect and it's a little bit easier for me to do it this way. There we go, we'll trim that off. And then I like to put a little extra adhesive where I did do the ribbon just to make sure it sticks. We'll do that on this side as well. And then we're going to adhere this to our base like that. This we're gonna pop up on some dimensionals. Here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna put it over here and then I'm gonna take another piece of this polished pink ribbon and I'm gonna come in and just loop it under and then I'm not doing a bow. You could certainly do a bow if you wanted to. I'm just gonna tie a knot and then I'm gonna come in and double knot it. There we go. And that's all there is to it. Let's just trim that up a little bit. Oops, there we go. And there we go. And I'll show you some other samples I've done with this set. So here's the card we made and here's our original. So that's super easy to do. And then I'll show you some of these. Now this is the sunshine I used from this Sharing Sunshine set. And then I use this in the Sunny Sentiments. I use this sunny one here. So that was really quick and simple to do. And then I have this one here. Oops, I've got some other cards too. Let me. Um, so this is just the sunshine again, and this one is from, let's see, After the Storm, the sentiment right here. This is a nice stamp set too. I haven't used this one too much yet. And then finally, this one I cased um, from Stampin' Through the Catalog. That's their Instagram account, and I did change it just a little bit, but mostly it's their design. But I just love this one, how this one came out too. So here is our card again, and I just wanted to say thank you very much for watching, and all of my links will be listed down below. Thank you so much.